By the flip of the coin, it's time for opening statements. Ms. Ayotte, you have two minutes. Thank you. Good afternoon. It's wonderful to be here with you today, and thanks so much for St. Anselm's and for the sponsors of this debate. I decided to run for the United States Senate because, like many of you, I was concerned about the path that our government was taking, and I still re remain concerned today. My background is as a prosecutor, not as a politician. In fact, I've never run for political office before, and I knew it would be challenging. But in my view, the stakes were too high to sit on the sidelines. I want our children to have the same opportunities every generation in America has had until now. Opportunities that the students here at St. Anselm's deserve to have. And yet today, there is great uncertainty about the future of our wonderful country. Why? Because Washington is spending too much on programs we can't afford, and worse yet, programs that don't work. I believe it's time to spend less, to tax less, and to get our economy moving. Make no mistake, Congressman Hodes and I have very different views and disagree on how we should solve our problems. He voted with Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi 94% of the time. Why? Because he believed that her liberal San Francisco agenda was right for New Hampshire. He was wrong. He voted for the stimulus, auto bailouts, Obamacare, and now he wants to raise taxes and believes that Washington knows best. Not only do I disagree with him on those votes, but I don't agree that Washington solutions are the answer to getting our great country back on track. I believe we need to make Washington live within its means. We need to stop the wasteful spending. The policies that Congressman Hodes has supported, has hurt our economy and hurt jobs. We don't need someone who votes like a liberal in Washington and then comes back to New Hampshire and claims he's a fiscal conservative. We need a consistent, strong voice fighting for our small businesses like the one Joe and I formed. And for taxpayers like you, the stakes are too high for more of the same. I ask for your support. I had the privilege of serving our state as the Attorney General and made the tough decisions there. And we'll do the same in the United States Senate to get our great country back on track. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Hodes, two minutes. Thanks, Scott. I want to thank St. Anselm's, AARP, and uh, the New Hampshire Chamber of Commerce, our local chamber, for putting on this debate. Uh, I've lived most of my life in New Hampshire. Pego and I raised our kids here. Uh, I went to college here. I got my start in public service from then Attorney General David Souter. He was my model for integrity and independence. He was fiercely independent, like the voters of New Hampshire are. And in the Attorney General's office I worked in, politics stopped at the door. For Kelly Ayotte, politics reached her desk, her official emails, and it was always on her mind. Her emails make it clear that she used her public office for her personal political gain. And something's happened in New Hampshire this election cycle. Groups from outside the state with unnamed wealthy backers and foreign money have spent millions on TV smearing me and my record. They're trying to buy the election for Ms. Ayotte, not because they care about jobs in New Hampshire or helping the middle class or our small businesses right here in New Hampshire. Why? Because Ms. Ayotte supports tax breaks for them, tax breaks for millionaires and billionaires that would add $700 billion to our deficit. And she wants to protect the tax breaks for companies uh, that are creating jobs overseas when we all know it's our small businesses right here in New Hampshire that need our help. So whose side is Ms. Ayotte on? How can she be trusted to put aside her own political gain to stand with the people of New Hampshire? Now, I didn't gain politically for voting for health care, but I did it because I believed it was the right thing to do. I did it because of people like Gail O'Brien and Keene, who now have health care as she faces cancer. I didn't gain politically voting for the Recovery Act, but now people like Abby are teaching our kids at the Beach Street School and still have their jobs. So there is a real choice in this election. Kelly Ayotte and her unnamed, powerful, outside, special interest backers trying to buy our votes, or a senator for the people. I say our elections in New Hampshire aren't for sale. I say the millionaires, the oil executives, and the Wall Street corporate raiders 
don't need another senator in Washington. They have plenty of those already. I will always be a senator who stands with the people in New Hampshire, not with the special interests. And I'll stand up to my own party, to the Republicans, to the bureaucrats, whoever it is that gets in the way of the people in New Hampshire, and I'll never, never work for my own political gain. There's a real difference here, and I hope you support me, vote for me, and send me to the U.S. Senate. Thank you very much. Mr. Holtz, thank you.